In the vast expanse of our solar system, tucked away beyond Saturn, lies a giant ice giant named Uranus. This ringed planet is home to a fascinating collection of moons. Among them is a particularly intriguing moon called Umbriel. Umbriel stands out as a world of darkness and mystery. It's one of the darkest celestial bodies we know. Its surface reflects very little sunlight, leaving many questions unanswered. Let's embark on a journey to unravel the secrets of this enigmatic moon. Umbriel's story began in 1851. An English astronomer named William Lassell was exploring the Uranian system. He had already discovered the moon Ariel a few weeks prior. On October 24th, he spotted another faint point of light near Uranus. This new discovery was a moon later named Umbriel. Lassell, inspired by a literary work of Alexander Pope, chose to name his discoveries Ariel and Umbriel after characters from Pope's poem The Rape of the Lock. These names added a touch of mythology to the scientific discoveries. Umbriel is a substantial moon orbiting the distant planet Uranus in the outer reaches of our solar system. Ranking as the third largest of Uranus's moons, it holds a significant place among the celestial bodies that accompany this gas giant. Umbriel measures about 750 miles across, making it a formidable presence in the night sky. Like many outer solar system moons, Umbriel is a world of ice and rock, a frozen landscape that has remained largely unchanged for billions of years. Scientists believe it's made up of roughly equal parts water ice and rocky material, a composition that hints at its ancient origins and the processes that shaped it. This composition is common among the moons in the outer solar system, where the cold temperatures preserve these icy bodies in a state of deep freeze. The most striking feature of Umbriel is its extremely dark surface, a stark contrast to the bright, reflective ice that covers many of its neighbours. It reflects very little sunlight, making it one of the least reflective objects in the solar system, a characteristic that has puzzled astronomers for decades. This darkness is a key mystery that intrigues scientists, leading to numerous studies and theories about its origin and nature. What makes Umbriel so dark? Is it the composition of its surface or perhaps some unknown process that has darkened it over time? We'll explore some theories later on, delving into the fascinating possibilities that make Umbriel one of the most enigmatic moons in our solar system. Images captured by the Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1986 offered our first detailed glimpse of Umbriel's surface. This distant moon, orbiting Uranus, had long been a mystery to astronomers. The images revealed a world that was both intriguing and ancient. What we saw was a world scarred by time. The surface of Umbriel is marked by countless craters, each telling a story of a past impact event. Umbriel's surface is heavily cratered. These craters vary in size, from small pits to large basins, indicating a long history of collisions with other celestial bodies. It's covered in impact craters of various sizes. Each crater is a testament to the moon's violent past, where asteroids and comets have left their indelible marks. This tells us that Umbriel is an ancient world. Its surface has remained largely unchanged for billions of years, providing a window into the early history of our solar system. It has been bombarded by asteroids and comets for billions of years, each impact adding to the moon's rugged and pockmarked appearance, leaving their marks on its surface. These impact craters are like a historical record, preserving the events that have shaped Umbriel over eons. Unlike some other icy moons in the solar system, which show signs of geological activity such as ice volcanoes or geysers, Umbriel shows no signs of recent geological activity. Its surface appears dormant, with no evidence of tectonic movements or resurfacing events. There are no obvious volcanoes, ice geysers or any other features that would suggest recent geological activity, or smooth plains that would indicate resurfacing. The lack of these features suggests that Umbriel has been geologically inactive for a very long time. This suggests that Umbriel's surface has remained relatively unchanged for billions of years, preserving a pristine record of its history, preserving a record of the early solar system's bombardment phase. This makes Umbriel a valuable object of study for scientists, as it holds clues to the processes that shaped the early solar system. By studying Umbriel, researchers can gain insights into the history of our solar system, the frequency and scale of impact events, and the nature of the objects that once roamed our cosmic neighborhood. Future missions to Umbriel could provide even more detailed information, 
helping us to understand not just this moon, but the broader history of our solar system. As we continue to explore and learn, Umbriel stands as a silent witness to the ancient past and waiting to reveal its secrets to those who seek them. While Umbriel is largely known for its darkness, it does possess one feature that stands out. This feature is a bright ring-shaped structure named Wunda. Wunda is located near the equator of Umbriel. It's much brighter than the surrounding terrain, making it a standout feature in images. Scientists are unsure exactly what Wunda is or how it formed. One possibility is that it's an impact crater that was later filled in with brighter material. This material could be ice that was exposed from deeper within Umbriel. Another theory is that Wunder is related to some sort of geological process that occurred in Umbriel's past. However, without further exploration, Wunder's true nature remains a mystery. Future missions to Umbriel could provide more insights into this enigmatic feature. Advanced telescopes and space probes might help us understand the composition and origin of Wunder. Scientists are eager to plan missions that could reveal more about Umbriel's geological history. The moon's surface holds many secrets and Wunder is just one of them. Artists and scientists alike imagine what it would be like to explore this mysterious moon up close. The contrast between Wunder and the darker regions of Umbriel makes it a fascinating subject for study. Analyzing samples from Wunder could provide clues about the processes that shaped Umbriel. There is so much potential for discovery on this distant moon. A future landing mission could unlock the secrets of Wunder and other features on Umbriel. The scientific community eagerly awaits the day when we can finally uncover the mysteries of Wunda. Until then, Wunda remains a bright mystery on the dark surface of Umbriel. Umbriel orbits Uranus at a distance of about 169,000 miles. It's one of the outermost of Uranus's major moons. Umbriel's orbit is nearly circular. It takes Umbriel about four Earth days to complete one full orbit around Uranus. This means that a year on Umbriel is only four Earth days long. Like many moons in the solar system, Umbriel is tidally locked to its planet. This means that the same side of Umbriel always faces Uranus. This is similar to how our moon always shows the same face to Earth. Tidal locking is caused by the gravitational interaction between a moon and its planet. Uranus has a strange and powerful magnetic field. This field is tilted at an extreme angle compared to the planet's rotation axis. As Umbriel orbits Uranus, it passes through this magnetic field. The interaction between Umbriel and Uranus's magnetosphere can have some interesting effects. One effect of this interaction is that Umbriel may experience auroras. Auroras are colorful displays of light that occur when charged particles from the sun interact with the planet's atmosphere. While Umbriel has a very thin atmosphere, it's possible that auroras could be generated in this thin atmosphere due to the interaction with Uranus's magnetosphere. However, observing these auroras would be extremely challenging, given Umbriel's distance and faintness. The leading theory for Umbriel's extreme darkness is that its surface is covered in a layer of very dark material. This material could be composed of carbon-rich compounds similar to what is found in some comets and asteroids. Over billions of years, impacts from these objects could have deposited this dark material on Umbriel's surface, gradually darkening it over time. Another possibility is that radiation from Uranus's magnetosphere has altered the chemical composition of Umbriel's surface ice. This alteration could have made the ice darker. However, more research is needed to determine the exact composition of Umbriel's surface and what makes it so dark. Umbriel remains a world full of unanswered questions. Future missions to the Uranian system could help us learn more about this enigmatic moon. A dedicated orbiter or lander could study Umbriel's composition in detail, map its surface with high resolution, and investigate the mysterious Wunder feature. By studying Umbriel, we can gain a better understanding of the formation and evolution of icy moons in the outer solar system. Umbriel's dark surface may hold clues about the composition of the early solar system and the processes that shaped the moons we see today.